We'll see if Wall Street can come back from last week's brutal sell-off. Stocks mark the 20th anniversary of Black Monday with another dramatic sell-off. On Friday, the Dow plummeted 367 points, a loss of nearly 3 percent, a far cry from 20 years ago when the Dow plunged 23 percent. The Nasdaq on Friday tanked 74 points. Traders now say there was a near 100 percent chance the Fed will cut interest rates at its meeting later this month. And whether you travel by car or plane, get ready to pay more. Soaring crude oil prices have started to trickle down to the pump, and some analysts are predicting the average price of gas will jump 20 cents or more in the coming weeks. If crude tops $100 a barrel, it could mean $5 for a gallon of gas. And that would also force the airlines to raise ticket prices to make up for the big jump in fuel costs just in time for the busy holiday travel season. This week, investors will be reacting to reports on new home sales and home resales for September. On the earnings front, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Coca-Cola are among the companies on tap to report. And that's your Money Watch. Log on to cbsnews.com for the latest business headlines. In New York, I'm Alexis Christophorus.